What's up guys, John here from Titan, and I wanna share with you guys the easiest, simplest way to get our new patient paperwork. It's really easy. Just pull out your smartphone, open the camera settings, and point directly at the QR code. Once you do that, it's gonna direct you right to our new patient paperwork, where you can fill it out online through your smartphone, your tablet, your desktop, or you can go old school, print it up, fill it out, send it back to us, fax it back to us, or even email it back to us. It's really up to you. We wanna make sure you guys are looking your best, feeling your best, and performing at optimal levels daily. Who doesn't wanna lose some weight, gain some lean muscle mass, maybe step it up in the bedroom, more energy, more focus. It's real simple and easy. Our medical providers can customize a regimen of our Titan Medical Center therapies that will help you achieve and reach your goals the healthiest way possible. So don't delay guys, pull out that smartphone, open the camera settings, point at the QR code, fill out the new patient paperwork, and become part of the Titan Medical Center family today. I'm John from Titan, and I know our Titan family is looking forward to having you as our patient. What's up guys, John back here, Titan, and uh, today I am getting my blood work done. So I get my blood work done pretty regularly. I just wanna make sure that I'm on top of everything, make sure everything's dialed in, Make sure everything's okay, like liver functions, kidney functions, make sure my cholesterol's on point. That's a big thing right now, you know, especially what's going on in the world. Everybody wants to get healthier, but sometimes you just don't know how. Well, the first step usually is to get blood work so you know what's going on, on the inside. You know, you can see the outside, the outside might look bad, the outside might look good. But either way, you really don't know what's going on on the inside. So, that, so blood work's really the diagnostic to really look at a lot of these different things like the internal organs, like I said, or cholesterol, but a lot of other things, right, that help you and will help your health and optimize your day and performance. So when I talk about these different things, we're talking about like testosterone, free and total testosterone ranges, because you wanna look at both. You know, estrogen levels, progesterone levels, growth hormone levels, you know, B12 levels, so other vitamins and stuff like that. Vitamin D is an essential one too as well. So these different things you look at and you can make sure that you're healthy, one, everything's okay. Two, if something's deficient or down or you're having symptoms of something, like being lethargic, uh, poor libido, you're losing lean body mass and don't know why, maybe plateauing. Maybe you're in right now and you know, in the mode of really you know, getting your body in shape and you're trying new nutritional plans or good workouts, but you're really not getting the results that you want. So that's really where blood work comes into play too, because if some of these levels are low, like hormones, uh, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to get those results. It's like fighting an uphill battle, right? So, like I said, this is one thing that I check regularly, at least every three to six months. Me, probably a little bit more, and I just like to know. Um, plus, I try a whole bunch of new therapies that we come out with, and I like to see how blood work reacts along with that, just to make sure everything's okay. So the other thing that I'm gonna get done today, which is cool, is when you're in office, you can actually get an IV with one stick. So, you know, usually what happens is, is you have to go to a lab, you get your blood drawn, you might be done with that. And if you wanna get an IV, you have to do it with the other arm and then we stick in some other place in that arm and it's just not good. So with this, it's one stick, right? And at that point, we can flush out, you know, the line after you're done getting blood and then you get an IV, like B vitamins, glutathione, uh, vitamin C's in there, zinc's in there to fortify the immune system, make sure it's strong, supportive. You know, I put other things in here like biotin for hair, skin, and nails. It's good for guys and girls, right? I put in NAD. So NAD is great for mental clarity. It's good for cellular regeneration, uh, and a lot of other things. So these are just some of the different components that I put in here. Now you can, you can make these these bags custom for what you're trying to achieve or what's going on. Let's say it's liver functions or you're just not feeling good or you had a long night the night before, right? So you can hydrate yourself and you can get all these great essential minerals, vitamins, amino acids, super antioxidants, and a lot more. Now we have, you know, if you don't know what you're looking for, don't worry. We can guide you. Our medical professionals here are very good at what they do and they can definitely help you out with getting optimal performance or feeling better, whatever's going on. So there's just some of the different services we offer here at Type Medical Center. If you guys want an IV, 
or blood work done and you want to come in house, all you guys got to do is call or text 727-389-3220. If you guys are in a different state, unfortunately you can't get IVs, but we can definitely send you in for blood work locally to where you're at. So I appreciate it. Stay healthy, stay safe. See you guys later. What's up guys? John here from Titan. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite therapies and a new therapy a lot of our patients are taking advantage of. That is NAD. So NAD is an awesome therapy. It's a coenzyme. It's in every living cell of the body. Think about that. Every living cell. And increases ATP, which is going to mean more energy for you guys. So if you guys want more energy, you guys don't want to feel down, lethargic, right? Put putt each day, then NAD could possibly be the therapy for you guys. Now, another great benefit of it, cognitive enhancement. That's right. So if you guys want more clarity, right? More mental clarity, more focus, being able to be lasered in on something, then NAD could definitely be the therapy to help you guys out. It works by actually repairing on a cellular level. So neurons decrease while we age, NAD levels decrease while we age. So at this point, it repairs those things in the brain to make you guys think a lot better, just in layman terms for you guys, okay? It'll also help athletic performance too as well. Think about it. If you have more mental clarity and you have more energy, that's gonna help you overall all around. Another thing it's used for is addiction recovery, Alzheimer's, dementia, and a lot, lot more. So they're doing a lot of research on this. So it's a great thing. Now, to get this therapy, it's real simple. You can either call or text us at 727-389-3220 and get this great therapy shipped to you guys so you can self-administer, or you can actually come in the office and get it in an IV with different things if you want or by itself. And this will give you a ton of different benefits either way that you do it. So if you guys are interested in NAD or want to know more about it or want to become a patient and be on this therapy, then call or text us and also check out the website www.tightmedicalcenter.com. I'm John from Titan and I appreciate you tuning in. What's up guys? John here and we're with my awesome Titan athlete. What's up? It's Rachel Daniels aka The Real Lois Lane. And it's great to have her back. It's been an exciting 2020, the last year, yes. and going into 2021 this year. So we got a lot of new things coming up, hopefully. New goals, new accomplishments we're going to achieve this year. But let's just reflect back on last year. This girl <laughs> had a one hell of a Cinderella season last year. And if you don't know who she is, you will soon enough. I promise you. So she kicked butt last year. She won a ton of competitions. If you don't know bodybuilding, she's definitely been... Uh, the up-and-comer you want to watch out for, okay? For going into winning the pro card, winning pro shows, really, really big ones, and then going on to the Olympia, which is like the Super Bowl bodybuilding. She did awesome. First year doing this as a pro. You usually don't get that. So how was that experience? Because that's a first-time experience. And you know what? There's people that have been in that sport forever, right? Yeah. And still haven't accomplished that feat. So tell me what it was like. Well, I mean... At the beginning of 2020, like, winning my pro card was the biggest deal. And then I got to win my first pro show, so that was, like, the biggest deal. And then I got to do the Olympia, so I don't really know what could top that. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I'd, I'd imagine it's, like, uh, someone doing, like, heroin or something. Like, the ultimate high. Um, it was, like, yeah, it was, like, euphoric. Right. It was a dream that I've woken up and gone to sleep every night since I first started bodybuilding imagining myself on the Olympia stage and um, sometimes you get so comfortable with it being a dream that you never kind of expect it to be a reality so it was just it took a lot and I still replay it every day in my head of you know being back by like the pillars and like walking out of the pillars onto the stage and there's just like so many faces and they're all there to see and it just um just being even backstage with like looking around and just realizing you're with the best people in the world it's the kind world. of like this this big um massive amount of respect that is just floating around and it it feels really you feel this sense of honor and um to be with those people and it's just it's an amazing experience i hope i have many 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 olympias um and yeah, I'll always remember my first one. I'm sure it'll be my most special. Absolutely. So, you know, this year I don't see anything less 
you know, last year, let's see this Olympia, <laughs> number seven in the world, right? And, you know, Rachel's like, ah, yeah. She wants to win. I thought she would definitely win, especially going to the competition she did. You know, I, I definitely thought it might have been a little bit higher. But, listen, <laughs> seventh in the world is like, that is, that's something to be very, very proud of. Thank you. And we're proud of her either way. She could have been last in the world. I'm still proud of the dedication this girl does, the sacrifice, and the hard work that she puts in. You know, a lot of people might not see it or might see a little bit of her social media. But uh, I'm telling you guys, listen, the times I do get to go to the gym, she's always there. <laughs> she's always eating on point. She's trying to make sure her body's on point. She's doing the right things all the time. She's following things to a T and being very consistent, uh, which, you know, I, I see some people that, that don't do that, even in, in off seasons and stuff like that. She, she's all about it and doing what she needs to do to prepare for the next battle or competition so yeah it, i'm really really proud of that so uh Thanks. it's awesome i can't wait to see this year 2021 should hopefully be a way better year yeah uh, i don't know how it could be even better but <laughs> it's gonna get better so hopefully maybe we'll even take olympia this year yeah. you never know our titans are coming on strong especially rachel so i'm real proud of her i just want to bring that out give her a big shout out okay because we didn't get to bring her back um you know since olympia um, all right, so I know you have a big interview with our good friend Dave Palumbo at RX Muscle. Yes. That's going to be coming out soon, so definitely check that out. Rachel's on there, and she breaks it down, so you guys definitely want to check that out. Um, preparing for the Olympia and going through all these competitions, obviously she's a Titan athlete, and she took advantage of the Titan Medical Center therapies. Yes. Which Titan Medical Center therapies, you know, top three, I guess, uh, would you recommend and how they helped you through prep or recovery or injury or whatever it was? Um, so I have a couple go-tos. Um, I always use my Titan Complete. As we know, Titan Complete is like has all the vitamins you need in it. And just it's an injectable. So the absorption rate is way better than just pounding a bunch of different oral pills into yourself every day. It's, it's hard on your organs and you're probably not getting all the vitamins that you're reading on the back of the label. Right. Um, so I always have that first thing in the morning. I do glutathione especially mm. that's great for your immune system especially with corona and everything going around there's actually like even studies linking glutathione deficiencies in people to um eat more easily contracting coronavirus and suffering more from it things like Absolutely. that so it's always great that's my big immune um shield and then i definitely definitely relied on some of the peptides that titan medical has we have BPC-157 and TB-500, and they're both healing peptides. They're both really great on their own, but I think they're even better together. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, they're protective compound. BPC is a protective compound. TB-500 is another peptide. Like I said, they work really well together um, for minor, like, tendon, ligament, healing, nothing, like, major. But in my case, you know, um, I have... I don't have any serious injuries. I have some overuse injuries just as much as I pose and, and work out. And the closer you are to a show and the leaner you are, you start to feel all those a lot more. So like, Aches and pains yeah, either. so I'll, I'd do a, a round, like maybe like a two week round of those. And honestly, it saved me, I think a couple of times, like for New York pro and for the Olympia. So, I mean, whether you're just an average person who's not, you know, lifting crazy amounts of weight or an athlete, it's great for people of all levels of fitness. Mm -hmm. And I'm proof that it works. I promise you it does. And I use it every day and I still use it even after the Olympia. So, so that's awesome. And we have a lot more therapies. I just yeah. want to name the, the top three because we could sit here and talk about them all yeah. day long <laughs> and the benefits and everything else. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you guys want to inquire about them, you guys know how to do it and you guys can get a hold of us. But, for uh, sure. Real proud of you, Rachel, so I just want to bring Thanks. her on here, give her a shout out, have you guys talk to her, see her, and guess what, guys? There's going to be a lot more of her and Titan Medical Center coming at you guys in 2021, so I want you to stay tuned and get ready, because we're about to take it into overdrive, Team guys. Team Titan, baby. So get ready. Here we go. Team Titan all Team the way. Titan. All right.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So if you guys haven't tuned into Cupid's Corner, what we like to do is, is we want to give great tips, tricks, or a little bit of our inside information to help you guys better your relationship or maybe reignite that flame that maybe been, you know, got smothered out a little bit. So you want to make sure that thing is burning strong, especially in a relationship if you want a long lasting, successful relationship, right? So there's a lot of different things that go into this. It's a job. Don't ever forget that. You have to work daily on your relationship to make sure it's successful. Not a chore. Right? Job. It's not a chore for sure. Not a chore. And, you know, and even if you're married, you know, it's still dating. So don't ever treat it like, you know, it's just a routine. I get up every morning, I drink my coffee, I go to work, I come home. Hey, honey, where's my dinner at? Eat my dinner, I go to sleep. Uh, that would be terrible. <laughs> right? <laughs> so... There's some different tips and tricks that we want to bring at you. So every week, we cover some new ones. This week, in particular, we're going to cover two main ones. The first topic is sharing highs and lows daily with your partner. Mm -hmm. You know, and so at this point, when you come home from your day at work or whatever is going on, or maybe you, you know, because of COVID, you're sitting at home and you've worked all day there, you might have some highs and some lows, some good things that happen, some bad things that happen. And the best thing to do is maybe at dinner time, sit down with your partner or even your family. Mm-hmm. You can get your kids involved in this one too. Yeah, no, actually my dad this used to great. force us to do that. So he would sit us down at the table and this was every single time we had dinner at night. And it was me, my brother, my dad, and my mom. And my yeah. dad worked three jobs, so yeah. I mean, he was barely ever home. So when we did have this dinner, it was no joke. Yeah. So we'd sit there and be like, okay, so what was the best part of your day today? And I'm like, okay, well, this is what it was. Okay, what was the worst part of your day today? Mm-hmm. We'd go around the table and everybody would say it. And, you know, sometimes you might be like, wow, that really happened today? You know, and then it starts up a conversation that you, I mean, you may not have known unless you asked or right. unless you shared what was going on. Because, you know, I mean, even think about, I'm sure back when I was working for someone else, um, you know, I'd come home, throw my, my stuff down, I'd be in a bad mood. I'm sure he would understand. You are know, like, uh, she's in a bad mood, but he would have no idea what happened, you know? so. And I kind of give him some little bits of the story of like what took place and why I'm upset. And then, you know, he's a little bit more understanding. So it could be one of those situations or you can share something that happened that was really cool. You know, with with doing this, it helps in a lot of different ways. One, it helps with bonding with your partner. Right. You feel closer because, you know, you know what they went through in that day. Good and bad. Mm -hmm. Two, it can help your partner. And let me tell you why. It can also help you in de-stressing because you have all those bottled up maybe emotions of something that happened bad or great emotions that that were built up and maybe they forgot to share with you. And, you know, sharing those bad emotions sometimes and getting them off your chest and onto the table will help alleviate that stress and and really help you all around, Mm -hmm. health-wise too, because you don't want to be stressed. That brings up cortisol, which can make you fat. You don't want that, Mm -hmm. okay? So, you know, (laughs) Right? Yeah. I, 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 I'll be honest. Yeah. You don't want that, okay? Yeah. So you want to be as you know, you know, you're always going to have some stress. There's good stress and bad stress, and you're going to have both. But you want to make sure you know how to balance that stress and being able to communicate with your partner or even with your family at that point, like you said, because you can do this with your kids too, and ask them, "Hey, how was your day? You know, what, what what good happened? What bad happened?" And you really get the full picture that way, and you stay in tune. It's 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 a better version of Facebook because it's real. Oh. It's yeah. personal. You're there. You're getting to talk. You're getting to bond. This is real, really real social communication. Right. And that's how it should be, especially with your family, with your loved ones. Okay. So this is really important. So make sure that you're sharing the highs and the lows each day. And you might be really upset when you come home and your partner has no idea. And you're getting the flack if you're the partner. You're like, oh, my God, what happened today at work, Jeez, right? Louise. Please, please tell me. So, you know, that could be one thing. Or they come home smiling. But, oh, okay, so what happened today, right? Yeah. And they could share a lot of good things with you. You know, even if you're sitting at home, you know, you're not always uh, interacting with your partner per se, right? So, you know, it's good just to do an overview of the day. Highs, yeah, I mean, listen, lows. we work together every day. We're here at the office every day. That doesn't mean that he knows exactly what my highs oh, and no. my lows are. Because oh, no. we're here physically together every day, but not like really together every day. He doesn't see every little beat of the day. So, of course, you know, when I go home, I'm sure I just spill his little ears out, you know. But it's a good thing, though, because it helps you, too. I mean, you're being able to de-stress by talking yeah. about it. Yeah. You know, don't you want to vent about it? Get it off your chest? And, you know, just feel better about getting it off your chest. And on the flip side to this, guys, do me a favor. 
do not judge them or yeah. say anything about it or even start up any sort of conversation that's, Listen. that's gonna, you know, start up another, like, you know, maybe, Problem. well, maybe you should have looked at it like this. Cause that can turn to a whole nother situation. Just listen. And after you listen, then just give them a hug. That's it. Just a hug, a hug and a kiss. I love you. It'll be fine. Tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow's a new day. It'll be a better day. Now, on the flip side of that, they could say, you know, I don't know what to do. And you yeah. could give them some some good pointers. Like, For hey, sure. maybe, maybe you do this, maybe do that. And they might give them a new outlook on things. So they can go in and do that. And if you change the game, mm -hmm. you never know. Because people think and look at things different ways. Even your partner. I mean, you know, I think, you know, me and Sharice, I think we're... Uh, we're a rarity because we look at a lot of things very similar. Yeah. I think we, we came into our relationship looking at things similar and that's why we had such a tight bond and so quick Yeah. because we had a lot of similarities, you know, good, good and bad, I guess, you know, <laughs> so at that point, um, we understood each other a lot. So, you know, some people don't have that and they're learning or they're complete opposites, mm -hmm. right? And those complete opposites sometimes attract, right? That's what they say, opposites attract. And at that point, you know, you can definitely look at something totally different than they look at something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can share that, but let them ask you. Don't say, yeah. oh, you should have did this or you should have did that. Because it could turn into something that it's, it wasn't meant to be. And they won't want to share that information right. with you. Then they think they're getting judged or they're getting a lecture and a stuff lecture. like that. A lecture, yeah. That's you don't a, want yeah. that, right? You want the lecture you know, after work. It's tough you too. Even when you do it with your kids, you know, you, you want to tell them the right way, but you don't want to come out as a lecture because, uh, whatever, dad, whatever. Right. No, 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 listen to me. You know, <laughs> that is what it is. But, so that's just one thing, right? That's a great tip and trick, you know, and this will help you guys all the way around. It's a big one. Relationship-wise, if you have a family, family-wise, um, it's gonna help in a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. So share your highs and lows, good and bad every day, okay? <laughs> so the next one, and this one's really cool too, because this is an everyday thing. So you, you know, I'm trying to set you guys up, or we are with good routines every day that, that should hopefully set you guys up for success. Small Even, building blocks of daily to build into the yes. bigger picture. Yes, so find something every day that you appreciate about your partner. Now, this can work in a couple different ways, right? So find something every day that you appreciate about them. Now, you can tell them because, listen, what partner doesn't want to get the compliment about something that you like about them? I mean, that's a confidence thing. That means that you, they think, or they know that you're thinking about them, right? And you think this about them. That's great because some people go in relationships and, you know, the wife or the husband, like, oh man, I don't know if my wife still even likes me anymore. I don't know what's going on, you know? I never get a compliment. They don't look at me. You know, I just, it's just, an, it's another day, right? And that could, that could definitely push you guys away from each other or one party away from, and that could go and, and, and you grow in separate directions. Yeah. And you don't want that, right? So when you think about these different things, you can tell them or you can keep it to yourself. And this is good too, because if you keep it to yourself, you might think you might, oh my God, you know, I love, I love Sharice, you know, she does this for me every day or, you know, I love this about her. I get to see this and it just brings a smile to your face and you don't got to tell them, but inside, you know, mm -hmm. right? And this will help you guys too. This will help in the relationship because even if they get on your nerves or they're getting on your nerves, mm -hmm. you go back to the good things, yes. right? Don't always look at the bad things. Even if you're in a, a bad situation, something happened wrong, okay? Whatever it is, you know, then you just focus on the negativity and it's always negative. Like, oh, and then you start thinking all these negative things. You don't ever think about the positive things. And it's not, what have you done for me lately type oh, deal. Boy. You don't <laughs> want that. It's an overall picture, right? right? Because let's say you're in a relationship for 12 years and you look at the past two months. Well, that's a small fraction of what you guys have been together in a long period of time. So when it comes down to things like that, you really wanna look at the big picture, okay? And doing these things like remembering the good things and the things that you appreciate about your partner will do that and hopefully bring you back to a better state of mind and maybe more calm. And if you are having problems or issues, you can talk about it or communicate about things and you'll be in a better mind state. Right? Well, communication's key. I was gonna bring up just something just off the top of my head. I mean, I appreciate John waking up at six o'clock every morning and taking Peter to school. He makes some breakfast and everything. Cause Steve's listen, clothes. listen, let's, 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 I'm going to put it out there. I am not by any means, never have, never will be. And currently am not a morning person. Okay. My morning starts at 12. 
So you can talk to me and call me and text me after 12 o'clock anytime before that. I'm still sleeping, not literally, but I am still sleeping. Um, but he does get up, you know, I stay, uh, we, we, sw we swap off. So, you know, I might stay up a little bit later to work or do emails and things like that. Um, and then he kindly gets up at six o'clock and he does take care of Peter. I mean, that's a big job, you know, getting him off to school and taking care of the breakfast, making sure he looks good, make sure he puts on deodorant. Oh my goodness, this yes, child definitely. will smell terrible if he doesn't have deodorant, yeah. sorry. But, you know, it's it's the little things that count and that's a, not really a little thing to me, it's actually a really big thing. I mean, I even thought about it specifically even this morning and the morning before that and the morning before that. So yeah, every morning I think about it, but it's appreciated. I may not tell him all the time, but I do appreciate it. And I, it doesn't go unnoticed or, you know, I, I, I do notice it every single day. You know, it's just little things like that. It could be the littlest thing. The littlest things, because a lot of those little things equal big things, mm -hmm. right? And that's what it's always about. A lot of pennies equal a dollar, right? 100 pennies equal a dollar. So at that point, you start adding up those little things, they really add up to big things. So those little things count. Small, big, make sure that you're appreciating these things about your partner or something they're doing for you. You never know what it could be, you know? And I have friends out there, I hear these stories all the time, oh, you know? Boy. I have one of my good friends and he just talked to me the other day. He's like, uh, you know, know he's like, about. you know, this woman he's been dating, you know, with, you know, he takes care of the kid that's not his child. And that's great, you know? He doesn't have to do that. Tourism, does this, spends all kinds of money, you know, and that's a great thing. And, and the girl tells him, well, you know, you don't appreciate me. And he's like, well, what do you mean? And he doesn't want to throw in her face all the things that he does. But at that point, like, he wants to be appreciated too. Like, are you, you know, are you taking into consideration these different things that I'm doing that I don't have to do? Well, you know, honestly, and we'll make this um, on the next episode, take note of this, you know, don't always have, like, expect what, they don't have to do right. that you're going to just expect that they do it because they do it all the time right you know don't do that because when you start setting that bar where if they're doing something that they don't necessarily have to do and then you just don't take it for granted great you take it for granted no. i mean that's kind of what i'm saying what with about is. that you're taking it for granted you're not appreciative of that's what right. they're doing not grateful that makes things a little sticky yep. and they will feel that yep. and they'll know yep. and it eventually it might not happen in a day or two days or a week or a month or a year but it does build up over time absolutely and it eventually does turn into animosity i mean yes. that's the truth it's going to turn into that so we'll talk about that more in the next episode of cupid's corner Tune in then next sunday <laughs> 11 a.m you can see our beautiful faces john and sharice and we are happy to give you guys these tips, tricks, and some of these different things that help us in our relationship or that we've seen help in other relationships out there. So we want to thank you guys for all the support. It's been a great 2021 so, so far. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next Sunday, 11 a.m., for another Cupid's Corner with me, John. I'm Sharice. And my beautiful wife, Sharice. Uh -huh. I thank you guys. Bye.